So apparently this dude confronted this man who he had problems with in school after 30 years. Let's watch the video. Well, it's cold out there. Mm. Mr. Mike, how you doing today, man? Now, if I'm the dude getting my hair cut, this look right here would have put me on guard immediately. Let's keep it going. Jonathan fucking Freeman, man. Used to pick on me in goddamn gymnastics. I had gym class, used to pick on me. Anthony knows, y'all remember me? Let me tell you something. When you in school, fam, and you feel like somebody picked on you, bro, that's what happened in school. You know what I'm saying? Children don't know why they do these things. They may have been getting picked on at home. So for you to hold a grudge and not grow and not learn, right? First of all, you should have learned as a child, right? The things are different when you're an adult. So for you to be holding this in for 30 years, you've been waiting on this day. It's like, dog, what is you on, man? What, get a life, fam. You too old to be. I've been waiting on you for 30 years. 30. You, you got to say it like that. 30 years. 30. Not even 30. 30 years. Like, come on, man. Excuse me. 20 years. <laughs> I've been waiting on you so long, nigga. It's been 20 years, man. You picked on me. You threw me in the garbage can, bro. You remember that? Man, I don't want no trouble. Man, who want this problem, man? Man said he don't want no trouble. And you still trying to start drama, bro? Come on, man. Don't be dramafied at 30 and 40 and 50 plus years old, dog. Nah, this is the problem. Get up, man. Get up. Fuck you, got Fuck you, got you know, as a grown man, I know what I'm about to do and I know what I'm not about to do. And I'm not about to initiate something that I'm not going to finish. First and foremost, I'm not going to initiate shit because at this point in my life, I just want peace. Understand what I'm saying? So for the average individual who's still dramafied and looking for that type of attention, fam, some, something needs to happen. You understand what I'm saying? This man don't want no trouble Yet you want to bring the trouble to him and then you find out that the man is even bigger than you thought. So now you want to bow down to the, bow down to the king on some Triple H shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, come on, dog. You can't be doing that type of shit. You, I'm not going to do that as a grown man. You just leave that alone and you just get over it. You know what I'm saying? Find security within yourself. You as a man should not be... Come on, man. These are insecure moments when you still trying to pick fights and, you know what I'm saying? Think about shit that happened in the past. You know what he did to me? Like, you need to find security within yourself, fam. It's over and done with. Let it go. Now, I don't know whether, you know what I'm saying, you want to relive your childhood traumas, but you reliving it once again, dog. I just want to let you know that. I don't want no hey, go back to business. Go back to business, man. Right, Please, man. I, don't go, I don't want no problem. Yeah, yeah, no problem, yeah, folks. Let me make it, man. Who is talking? Cut my hair. I need to cut my hair. Shit. All right, man. I'm going to focus on man. God bless you, man. Now, fuck you, man. Shit. <laughs>